and welcome back to another episode of Bear Necessities WBSDB News Holiday Edition. And now for past events. On November 7th, WBSDB Tapestry went to Charleston to participate in the Capitol Christmas Tree event. Then on November 14th, WBSDB hosted the Capitol Christmas Tree on our campus. On November 15th, ProStar and the music department collaborated for our annual fall dinner show. It was sold out and it was a fantastic time. On December 1st and December 2nd, WVSTV Tapestry performed at Romney's Cookie Craw and Springfield's Christmas in the Square. WVSTV participated in the Romney Christmas Parade on December 9th. We had a float that honored our first responders. The drum line performed on the float and many students marched beside the float holding first responder flags. Students in Ms. Knopf's art class created beautiful ornaments for our WVSTV Christmas tree. It is displayed in Cape and Bridge Christmas Tree Forest. Here's a short clip showcasing our tree. Students are participating in 12 Days of Christmas at WVSDB, and today is Pajama Day! On December 22nd at 10 a.m. is our school's annual Christmas program. The theme is Christmas trees. Christmas break starts on December 23rd. Students will return to campus on January 2nd. On January 3rd is when the new semester starts. Now for School Improvement. Hello and welcome to School Improvement. Today we will be showcasing our newly improved library. Firstly, we have a new reading nook so students can come and enjoy their favorite books. We also have newly labeled bookshelves so students can come grab the books that they want. Our furniture has been replaced for the more modern look, so students can read and work comfortably. We also have a new smart board so students can do research easier on the internet. In addition, we also have a new librarian's desk area for easier accessibility to check out books. And finally, we have a new student work area, so students and coverage can get their work done. We love our new library! See you next time! Next, Sports with Rapid Rochelle. Hi, I'm Rapid Rochelle and this is WVSDB Sports. Recently, the WVSDB swim team competed in the swim tournament with the boys coming in second and the girls also coming in second. Here's a clip of one of our students swimming. Basketball season has started. Both of the teams are playing hard. Here's a montage of both the boys and girls basketball games.
That's all for sports. Thanks and back to you. Now for the Braille and ASL sign of the month. Hi, my name is Canyon, and I'm here with the Braille sign of the month. The Braille sign of this month is the letter H. The letter H is dots one, two, five in Braille. The letter H is a contraction for the word have, but it's also used in the word holiday. Have a good holiday, everybody. Happy holidays. This is how you sign happy holidays. With a B hand shape, brush the palm portion of your hands against the top of your chest in a circular motion. And then with a five hand shape with palms facing one another, alternately tap your thumbs against the top of your chest. Candy cane. This is how you sign candy cane. With a one hand shape, put the pointer of your finger to your chin and then twist. With the G hand shape in both hands, classify the shape of the candy cane. Cookies and milk. This is how you sign cookies and milk. With the dominant hand being a claw five hand shape and the non-dominant hand a B hand shape, put your dominant hand on top of your non-dominant hand and then pull it up, twist it, and put it down again. Start with a C hand shape and go to an S hand shape two times. Christmas tree. This is how you sign Christmas tree. Put your non-dominant hand palm down horizontally in front of you. Then put the elbow of your dominant hand on the back of your non-dominant hand and make a C starting at the elbow and pull it in an arc to a 90 degree angle. Leaving your hands in the same position, open the C hand shape into an open five and twist your hand. Here's assistive technology with Phoenix. Howdy, welcome to assistive technology. Today I will be demonstrating the uses for an iPad for the blind and the deaf. Uses for the blind include voiceover, which helps the blind navigate through their iPad, magnification features and apps, which can help a low vision individual with seeing what's on the board. Zoom in and out features to help low vision students navigate different websites without the use of a screen reader such as voiceover. They also have access to Siri if they're having trouble finding an app or setting. This is an example of how voiceover works. This is an example of voiceover reading text. This is an example of magnification. I've magnified this document, and this is what it looks like. You can zoom it in if you want to see something bigger, or you can zoom it out to see the entire picture. This is an example of the zoom in and out features. As you can see, my Word document's a bit small, and I can't read it. But I can just zoom it on in. And boom, there's the words. Uses for the deaf include closed captioning, which can help all of the deaf and hard of hearing community with a variety of tasks. And finally, a few of our deaf and hard of hearing students here at school use an online interpreter in their classes. This helps with the current communication needs. This is an example of closed captioning for the deaf. As you can see, we have a YouTube video with the captions on. I love my iPad. See you next time. Here's a festive segment. What do you want for Christmas with me? Now let's see what the kids want for Christmas this year. What do you want for Christmas, Zane? I really want a trombone. Whoa! Magic! Hi Brooklyn, what do you want for Christmas? A trumpet. Cool. There's the Christmas spirit! Now what do you guys want for Christmas? Clarinets! Wow! Ho ho ho! Rochelle and Phoenix. Hello and welcome to this month in history. Let's begin. Firstly, on December 13th, 1642,
New Zealand was discovered by Dutch navigator Abel Tasman of the Dutch East India Company. Next, on December 14, 1799, George Washington died at Mount Vernon. Additionally, on December 16, 1835, a massive fire erupted in New York City, destroying more than 600 buildings, causing an estimated $20 million in damages. Thanks, and here's more with Rochelle. Thanks, Phoenix. On December 17, 1538, Pope Paul III excommunicated King Henry VIII after declaring himself supreme leader of the church. On December 5, 1876, President Ulysses S. Grant delivered a speech of apology to Congress, stating that mistakes he made as president were errors of judgment, not intent. And finally, on December 3, 1993, Britain's Princess Diana announced that she was stepping out of the public because she desired more privacy. Thanks and back to you. Now for Ask Alex. Hey Alex, were you a good kid this year? Yeah. Oh, Santa's going to bring you some presents. Thanks for watching Fair Necessities WBS TV News. Come back next time. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and follow our Facebook page.